In a speech in Swing State, Arizona, his first since the debate, Donald Trump, despite claiming what he called a monumental victory, slammed the door on another one. We've done two debates, and because they were successful, there will be no third debate. He defended his often visibly angry performance on Tuesday and attacked the moderators who had fact-checked his falsehoods, saying they should be fired. Earlier, Harris campaigned in an equally vital state. Are we going to do this, North Carolina? Harris wants another face-off with Trump. I believe we owe it to the voters to have another debate. Because this election and what is at stake could not be more important. Back in Arizona, in what was billed as a detailed address on the economy, Trump spent most of his time denouncing migrants as criminals and rapists and repeating bogus claims about Haitian immigrants in Ohio abducting family pets. We're being conquered and we are being occupied by a foreign element. Getting around to economic matters after an hour on stage, Trump promised tax-free overtime pay and said he would bring down inflation, interest rates, housing prices, and energy costs, all without providing specifics. While Harris, who has been criticized by some for not having detailed plans of her own, stuck mainly to talking points that are becoming more familiar. Well, folks, I said it then, I say it now. It's time to turn the page. Turn that page. (laughs) With no more debates, American voters will spend the next 50 days sorting through competing rhetoric in a race pollsters say is, for all practical purposes, a dead heat. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.